Hello people, back again, and this time we're going to be talking about War Thunder and on live. Their, their on live cloud lift service. Yes, I thought, wow, on live. I thought they were dead. Some people might think that. Because if you don't hear about them all the time, sometimes you think that. Well, War Thunder is a free-to-play military MMO from Russian studio Gaijin Entertainment. Uh, it's launching today on the cloud lift service from on live, which is basically the cloud-based gaming service uh it is a subscription-based service that basically allows you players to lift a limited selection of Steam titles that already own, are they already own to the cloud, and then stream them on a variety of devices without downloading the, the full game, like for example, Windows and basic Mac computers, TVs, Android tablets, uh, and because it gives obviously it is integrated with Steam, save games are synced across all the devices. So, if you're one of those people that want something like this. Cloudlift now has got War Thunder. Now, War Thunder is currently available on Mac, PlayStation 4, and Windows PC. Uh, of course, according to, to OnLive, aka Cloudlift, this makes them for the first time to Cloudlift. The game is playable on an Android tablet with a Bluetooth controller. So, uh, supposedly, uh, War Thunder, the game will be streaming at 60 frames per second in 720p resolution. So if you want to play that on your Android tablet or something like that, uh, this allows you to do that. Again, it's just I'm adding a game to the CloudLift library to have. Now, you don't necessarily have to, if you don't want to pay $7.95 per month for the subscription service, you could try a seven-day free trial and try this game on that service if you want to. Again, that's up to, completely up to you. But it is kind of cool that uh, War Thunder is on this and that people who have the service have something else to play. So, what do you think about One Thunder being on the OnLive Cloud Lift service? Again, I'm not necessarily sold on doing the Cloud Lift service. I think OnLive is kind of a thing that was a thing of its time, but there's so many ways to stream things today, and there is more competition coming into the space uh, from game console makers themselves and video game publishers. I just don't know if this service is really going to take off for this company. I always feel like this company is on life support. Uh, with their product that somebody's either going to totally buy this thing and, and shelf it for the patents on it or somebody else is going to make something better and completely who can afford like an EA or somebody who already has a big library is going to do something like this with Origin or something and you'll be able to stream it everywhere and make this service obsolete but for now they're the only one, only one doing this and what do you think about it would you try this game out in the service out uh, to try to stream it across your tablet or TV, or are you just not interested? Like always, guys, love to hear your guys' opinions, and I'll talk to you guys later.